there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play the accompaniment on piano to Selfish by Madison Beer. Obviously there's very little piano in the track so I'm going to incorporate what the guitar part is doing and what the very little piano that there is in the track is doing as well and then I'll do the odd bit of singing here and there just as a reference point. I've also left a link to the chords and lyrics below so go and check that out if you find that useful. And so this one's in the key of A major. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of A major. So the chords are mostly formed using these notes. It does go into the relative minor harmonic, which is F sharp minor harmonic. So it also uses what you call an E sharp in there as well. So here is middle C for reference, just to know where I've positioned my piano and to locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano. So look at the intro first. So we'll do the right hand to begin with. If you can stretch octaves and play octaves, so two of the same note at the same time, do that. But if not, just play one of the notes. Okay, so we've got A's, B's, C sharps, A, if you can't tell, I'm using the sustain pedal. And then the next bit goes G sharp, A, B, G sharp. And then the next bit is F sharp, G sharp, A, C sharp, and then D, A. So I'll do all that again. So I love the intro of this song, it's very Lana Del Rey and very um, like quite Disney sounding. So the left hand to that, we're going to play some chords. So you can play them in any way you want. I'm going to play what we call the full chord, so with the octave of the root notes with the third and the fifth in the middle. So the first chord you're going to play in the left hand is A major, so obviously just play the three notes if you don't want to play the octaves, so that's A, C sharp and E. And then the next chord is C sharp major, so this is where the E sharp comes in. So it's C sharp, E sharp, which is I know is an F, and then G sharp, C sharp. Again, just play those three notes if you don't want to stretch. And then we have D major, so that's D, F sharp, A. And then you're going to flatten the third and that becomes D minor. So I'm going to show you how to put that together now. And then she starts singing, so that's the intro. Now let's have a look at the verse. This, again, this is middle C, we're going to be playing below here. So I've put the notes on the screen, So and I've colour coded the hands as well. So left hand is blue, right hand is orange. So we're going to go A, E, A, A, E, A, E, like this. And do that again. Again, we're just trying to mimic what the guitar is doing. This next one is right, so I promise you, it just sounds off. So that first one was based around A major. This next one, the chord is actually C sharp augmented, which is that chord, but then the bass note is a G sharp. So C sharp, sheets, <laughs> C sharp augmented over G sharp. So using the exact same pattern, it goes. I really like it because it's dissonant and interesting. And then the next one is D major, so you're going to play just a D in the left hand. F sharp, D, A, F sharp, D. And then we've got D minor, so it goes 
D, F, D, A, F, D, F, and then that D. So, so I'll do all that from the beginning. This makes up a large portion of the song actually. Hi there, just quickly before we continue, if you are enjoying the video so far, please consider hitting that like button and say hi in the comments section below. If you're brand new here, please consider subscribing, you know where the button is, and make sure to hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I upload a new tutorial and you can be the first to learn. I've left a load of playlists in the description as well to get you started. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial and let's continue. So you go through that twice. I'm going to demonstrate the verse for you now. Boy, you're such a lost cause. Now we're into the pre-chorus, so you do that again. Now we're into the chorus. I'll teach you the chords first, so using the same pattern in each hand, so it's based around the D chord first. And then you move that shape to E major, so E, G sharp and B. Again, the notes are on the screen. And then to the A shape again. And then to the C sharp major shape. Back to D. Back to the E. This time you're going to come to F in the left hand and then play F and G sharp in the right hand. So like this, so it's C sharp over F. And then F sharp in the left hand and F sharp and A in the right hand. So I'll just do what we've done so far. I should love you but I couldn't help it Had a feeling that you never felt it Always knew that you were too damn selfish I don't know why you look the other And now we're into the next bit, so D to the E to the A again And then it's like a post-chorus interlude part where you're just going back to playing the verse part by itself. the 
pre-chorus. So this time the second pre-chorus has this in there as well. If you don't want to incorporate that, which obviously will make it a bit trickier, just play it the same way before. So the pre-chorus, the first two bit is the same. So. what's going on there. So when you get to the D major part, your right hand, you're gonna just basically play a scale, an A major scale. This is an octave higher, but I'm gonna show you it here because it's in shots. So we've got A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, cross over to G sharp, back up to A, B, C sharp, D, E, A, F, E, F, E. So if you copy the fingers that I'm using, I'll do it again. it's a piano or some sort of harp or something like that it stands out in the track it's pretty so if you want to include that you definitely should so in the left hand I was just going like this so breaking up the D major chord and then the D minor chord so you're going to be playing a note together so like this change it to the F, so the D minor. Or you can just play that E by itself. So I'll do it again. I'll play it an octave lower so you can see it hands together. I'll just demonstrate that pre-chorus. Then on count, that's when it comes in. Then into the chorus again. Shouldn't love you, but I couldn't help it. Had a feeling that you never. into this another post chorus interlude and then there's like almost like backing vocals singing that I don't want to break a thread a needle trying to stitch you but I can't it goes the right hand goes back to the intro so you could just do the intro and then we've got this bit again have a go at breaking up the chords in any way you want just so it's constant again so just a suggestion obviously this is not the piano isn't doing this it's just a an arrangement suggestion so it could go Possible for yourself and later 
there you're just playing the chords of the verse again but you're play, play, pressing them all at the same time this time and then we're into the last chorus so we we'll carry on shouldn't love you but I couldn't help it had a feeling that you never felt it always knew that you were too damn selfish don't know why I looked at the other and now there's like this effect going on so we're just gonna play the root notes so way You could play those four parts as octaves, so just playing the same notes in each hand, and then carries on, so breaking up the chords again from the D major. I shouldn't love you, but I couldn't help it. I always knew that you were too damn selfish. And then the outro is the same as the verse. how it ends. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request you need to click on this video which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered so I look forward to seeing you over there.